للأسف أول مرة في تاريخ تونس المعاصر رئيس جمهورية يعمل خطاب فاشي للدرجة هذه وفيه العنف هذا كل والتمييز على أساس اللون والعرق والجنسية So recently, there's been Black Lives Matter protests going on in Tunisia. People have been taken to the streets and calling out the Tunisian president, Kai Saeed, accusing him of making way to desist comments and hate speech. The Tunisian president recently suggested that Black Africans who migrate to Tunisia are changing the demographic and identity of Tunisia and that they are also linked to violence and crime. The president also called for undocumented Black African immigrants to be expelled from the country. Rights groups have said that the president's speech has led to a wave of racial violence against black Africans. Black Africans are now heading to their embassies asking for help to leave Tunisia because things have gotten so bad and they no longer feel safe. <laughs> Hearing that this is happening in Tunisia, a country in Northern Africa, came as no surprise to me at all. If you are like me and you know the history of Northern Africa, I'm sure you are not surprised as well. I mean, we've been known how they think and feel about us, and we know more now even thanks to social media. And that's why, like this sis said in this comment from TikTok, we don't really roll with the Northerners like that. If you know, you know. So for those of us who do know, we move accordingly. First time. First time, huh? First time. Hmm. And just because your president does not stand on stage and say it, it doesn't mean it's the first time. Because the behavior and the energy that black people, black African have been receiving from the North, including Tunisia, has never been anything less than trauma, pain, death, and destruction. Literally, that's it. And for the, the, the Africans, who just because you practice Islam or because you went to Tunisia and had a good time, all of a sudden you're like, well, it's not all, it's not all like that. And there's a good, there's a better way to go about this. You are referring to their shitty president, his wooden teeth and the bullshit that he said. There's a better way to go about it if he doesn't want immigrants in this country. Who's the immigrant? You are calling other African in the continent of Africa immigrant. Do you even know who were the original habitant of Tunisia? You seriously? Is the Quran or Bible holding your brain too tight that you can't think past the two? Whatever's going on with our people is mind blowing. And I'm not even talking about that our people that are suffering. No, no, no. I'm talking about those who you are not thinking. You really sit there and you think that that white man with his wooden teeth, is going to find a better way to keep black Africans out of the north. You want him to find a better way. Because somehow in your head, you still think that they don't belong there. You still think that they should not be there. You still think that that's his homeland. Because you refuse to dig into history. You refuse to learn. So no, it's not the first time this is happening like Miss Mama is saying. And you guys is loving this video because it's going viral on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. When we talk about the north of Africa and uh, people are now screaming, there's some African people and the... Um, the invaders of the north, their children and grandchildren, who are really trying to convince us as Bantus of Africa that um, 
it just now started, right? What's happening right now, what's been happening for the past five, 10 years. It's like, it's new. Even them, they're surprised, they're shocked. One of them yesterday had the audacity to tell me like, you know, um, there are people protesting with the BLM signs and stuff like that. And I'm sitting here like BLM went, became like a global movement, basically it's summer of 2020. So where were your people before that? Because we're not about to talk about the, 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 the racism that Bantu African people are facing in the north of Africa started yesterday or 10 years ago. Maybe you got to listen to the children and grandchildren of the invader for you to actually pay attention. The Tunisian public were surveyed on their government's decision to ban black immigrants. Here is one of their interesting responses. <laughs> Notice how he said what he said with his full chest and very proudly. And the fact that this man was going on and on about values, their Arabian values to be exact, insinuating that black Africans had bad values, that's why he doesn't want them in Tunisia. But then goes on to, in the same breath, boldly and proudly talk about how his grandfather used to buy and sell black Africans. The jokes literally write themselves. There is so much history about the North that honestly we don't talk about enough. If you know the history of the North, only then would you understand why the North looks the way it does. And that is why oftentimes you would hear people who know about this history refer to the people in the North as invaders. They are no different from the white South Africans in South Africa. So for the African people who look like me, who think that you can gaslight the rest, the, the, the ones that look like us who have suffered through this or who have done research and understand what's going on to them. Uh, with the north please do me a favor and go to the north because at this point if you're going to side with the oppressor just say that stop pretending like there's this uh there's this like middle ground or gray area it's not there is no you cannot be neutral in this situation it's either or and pick a side stand on it with your full chest with your entire spine do that and allowing the children, grandchildren of oppressor snake, a child of the snake, <laughs> you know, children of snakes are snakes. If you're going to allow them to gaslight you or change your mind because you think that we are the same generation. So they see life differently as if they are not benefiting on the pain, death and trauma of our people. Please go to the north. So let's talk about Tunisia and their anti-racism protests. Mm -hmm. So to some, this may come as a surprise to others. It's not. <laughs> but um, I'm going to say this. Anytime I hear news about an African country that is heavily influenced by Arabic culture and um, some Islamic uh, values, I know that the way black people in those country, countries uh, is going to be treated is horrendous. Like big anti-black vibes, big bombastic side eye vibes and i'm going to give you an example so when morocco which is up there um in northern africa made it to the semi-finals uh in the world cup a lot of african people were celebrating uh you know because morocco is in africa and so they were the first african country mind you to make it to the semi-finals in uh, uh qatar uh, during the world cup right why why did a lot of black people from these countries here right experience anti-black from people in northern countries why is morocco not in africa is this not a map of africa right now that's just an example of how a lot of people a lot of arabic people who reside in countries such as uh, tunisia algeria uh, morocco as an example to treat uh, black people egypt as well it makes no sense and it's just at this point kind of silly, right? Because you're in Africa and you're telling people in Africa that they cannot migrate between the countries in which they are born in, uh, which their ancestors have cohabited for centuries and ages. It's just strange. It's real strange.